How to bulk upload NFTs on OpenSea using a bot. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can bulk upload NFTs on OpenSea. So let's get into it. Now, a lot of people are often using GitHub and GitHub is good, but it requires a lot of coding and a lot of know-how. And you have to do, you know, you have to have some basic understanding. And even if you're following step by step, it can be a little complicated to get started with GitHub. So I don't recommend GitHub for beginners. However, GitHub, it also has the issue that it is not compatible with Mac. So if you have a MacBook, then you can't bulk upload using GitHub. GitHub. And for that reason, it is not my number one pick. Although if you have like an NFT collection that is over like a thousand or two thousand NFTs, then you might want to use GitHub because there is going to be nothing more efficient than their platform. However, for most people, it's just not suited, especially if you're someone that has like a hundred NFT collection, like you have hundred NFTs then it might just not be as efficient for you to just use a GitHub, you know, coding and then you might have to use someone else's computer because they don't support Mac and then you have to go on Windows and then it's just a whole complicated process. So for this, I actually recommend another tool. It is called nftbulk.com by Koala Mint. So they have actually created this platform. It's a simple bulk NFT uploader. It is a no code solution and you can easily upload on the Ethereum and Polygon networks. And if you're using OpenSea, then it's very likely that you are uploading a Ethereum based NFT collection. So if you have Solona in mind, then you can't do this with Solona based collections. However, you can do it on the Ethereum and Polygon network. Now, it's very simple and easy to use and you can add NFT metadata. It saves you hours and hours of time and your NFT collection will be ready to get live in minutes and you have only five simple steps. Now, to get started, just head on over to nft dash bulk.com so that is their url just click on get started for free over here once you have clicked on get started for free you can choose to sign up with metamask or any other crypto wallet i'm going to sign up with metamask because that is the account that i want to upload my nfts from on OpenSea. so whatever wallet you want to connect to your OpenSea account just choose that one and we're just going to enter our information so once you've entered your information, you're just going to click on sign up with MetaMask. And I'm just going to click on I already have an account because I already have registered this uh, MetaMask account. So I'm just going to click on log in with MetaMask. If you don't have an account, as you guys saw, you just have to enter that information and then you're going to click on start now. And just like that, it will show you collection name and new bulk. So you're going to begin by entering the collection name. I am just going to name this sample collection. And then below that, you're going to select your network. So let's say I want to go with Polygon. Now below that, you're just going to connect your MetaMask wallet address. So we're just going to connect from over here. We're going to copy our wallet address. And then you're just going to go on ahead and make sure everything is selected. So I just changed the network on my MetaMask account to Matic because I want to upload on the Matic network. Now, after this, you're just going to click on save and continue. And once you have done that, you can connect from your Google Drive. You can uh, go on ahead and sign in with Google and select your file. So I'm just going to continue on over here. You can connect your account from here. And then we can simply go on ahead and we're going to click on continue like so so you're just going to click on continue over here once you have clicked on continues you can simply download them and we're just going to upload those and these are just some sample images that we have and we can just go on ahead and choose those files so we're just going to go into our downloads and these are just some sample images so once we have uploaded those we're just going to wait for the upload to be completed and make sure that the file name is numeric and consecutive, like one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. So we're just going to open these up. And once you have opened these up, you can simply go on ahead and upload to your bulk upload. And you can download these car files. And these are simple car files. That is, these are just simple zipped up files that are going to help you in setting up your 
bulk account so if you're just looking to try it out before you upload your own collection you can just use those images like i did over here now below that you have to upload your files on the specific uh, your dot car file to the nft storage by these instructions so what you're just going to do and you're just going to go into nft.storage and you're going to create your account over here upload them over here and once you have done that you're going to complete and download the metadata that you have generated with nft storage and your bulk upload will be ready so instead of having to code you just have to upload your nfts on qualament and then go on to nft storage to develop your ipfs and filecoin if you want and that is it so this platform actually provides you with free decentralized storage and bandwidth for nfts on ipfs so that is the purpose of uploading on nft storage as well and then once you have done that you will get your contract and then the bulk upload will be completed and you can also do listings using this simple platform so that is how simple and easy it is to get started with their platform you can even do multiple bulk uploads on a single time so you can see i have this a pending draft and then i can click on new bulk and uh, develop a new collection while the other collection is in my drafts and so on and so forth you can build multiple collections or bulks at the same time as well as the fact that you can delete and edit collections while they are in your drafts so you do have quite a lot of control using their platform and you can customize your bulks and collections on OpenSea with their platform so instead of having to learn how to code or trying to figure out coding or trying to borrow someone else's PC so you can use GitHub, I like to use this platform, especially if your NFT collection is not too large. So if your collection is too large, let's say it's over like 200 or more than that, then it is something that you need to keep in mind. So uh, you can see that if your collection has more than 750 nfts you have a special form that you should read and then you will see that you should bulk upload in batches so make sure that the maximum amount of bulk uploads you're doing together are not exceeding 750 nfts so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these and techniques that I showed in this video and if you found them helpful make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these share them with your friends with your family with your cousins and share them with any business partners that you might have and it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along and if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video